Hello, everyone. I'm Dean Stephen Anthony Zerker. I want to thank you very much for taking a look at this brief video in which I'll explain about Kansai Gaida University located in Osaka, Japan. So this is an overview of the campus. You can see a picture of the main campus behind me there. Uh, we were founded in 1945, and uh, our campus has a very strong focus on hosting foreign students such as yourself. We have 12,000 local students who attend every semester, and uh, we've built 390 partnerships worldwide to bring foreign students on campus. So it's a very successful program that we've been running. And actually, I was a student myself, an exchange student many years ago as a sophomore. Okay. So this is how our school is organized. Um, we have various departments. The one I'm going to be talking to you about is called the Asian Studies Program, and that's the program that actually hosts you and uh, employs the professors who will be teaching you when you come here, okay? So the program itself was established in 1972. And over those years, we've had 17,000 students such as myself hosted and the majority of them have had a wonderful experience as I did when I was a student. Very diverse student body. We primarily draw from the United States, but we have students coming from all over the world. So when you're here, not only will you experience meeting Japanese students and Japanese professors, but you'll meet people from all over the world. We focus on Japanese language instruction and also have various content courses such as history and business, anthropology. And we have studio art courses as well, which are quite popular. These are the two campuses. We actually have two. Uh, don't worry, they're located close to each other. They're about half a kilometer distant between the two of them. The main campus is on the left. Uh, Kansai Gaide, that's a, uh, where I am right now. And then we have a brand new campus uh, that was built just a couple years ago <clears throat> for foreign students and also for our Japanese students. This is where the dorm is for our foreign students to say. That's Gotenyama campus that you see on the right hand side. So we talked about uh, the number of partners worldwide. Um, we draw about 60% of our students from North America. Uh, the majority of the rest come from Europe and all over the world. So again, this is a very diverse student base that comes to visit us on a semester by semester basis. So we have 393 partnerships all over the world. Okay, next. All right, overall, um, we host on average 750 students per year. Um, and they are taking the Japanese language courses or the content courses, the history courses, business courses, and so forth. We also send students outbound as well. So we send students from Kansai Gaida University, the Japanese students, to your campus. So one nice thing about this program is that while you're here, you may meet people who are going to go to your campus the following semester. And this is how lifelong friendships are created through our exchange program. All right, so I'm sure your partner institution has many uh, schools that they have relationships with in Japan. I want to tell you why Kansai Gaida is the best. Okay. So number one is our location. If you're interested in Japanese culture, this is the place to be because we're located in the heart of the cultural center of Japan. You can see on the right-hand side there, we're located very close to Kyoto. Many professors actually live in Kyoto. Um, some students who uh, choose to live outside of the dorm, also live in the Kyoto or Osaka area. We're also close to Nara, which was the traditional capital of Japan. So here's uh, pictures of some of the cities. I live in Kobe, uh, not too far away from the campus as well. So that's an additional place that you can visit when you're here. It's just a wonderful place to be. Uh, the Kansai culture is very warm and uh, welcoming, very friendly. Our students enjoy living in this part of Japan very much. Okay, one good thing about our program as opposed to other Japanese schools where potentially you could study is that from the very beginning, back in 1972, when this program started, uh, we decided to host our students on the Western calendar. So there's no overlap, there's no issues. When you're a student at home, if you come to Kansai Gaidai, the time would be exactly the same. So you can see our fall semester starts in fall and our uh, winter spring semester starts in February, whereas the Japanese calendar, especially in spring, is offset and that causes lots of problems, lots of headaches. So you don't need to worry about that with our program. All right, so the course offerings I'm very proud of. Our Japanese program is very highly regarded by our students, highly reviewed. 
Usually it's in the 70 to 75% range for excellence or very, very good satisfaction for the Japanese uh, classes. And we also offer content courses in English and uh, everything you can possibly want to study, we offer to you through the semester. And again, as I mentioned, we have ceramics and manga courses where you can actually create Japanese art and do that yourself. So that's something that our students really enjoy. One thing that I helped to create a number of years ago is an internship program uh, so for students that are here in the spring semester, you're eligible to apply for that. So as soon as the spring semester is over, you could roll into an internship with a local government office or businesses or in schools. Many of our students here at Kansai Gaide want to become teachers. These are some of the companies, AIG, Kinsania, Kubota. These are Fortune 500 level companies where you could potentially intern. And believe me, if you put this on your resume, you'll be much more likely to hire a job in an international area back in your home university. So we have government offices and also schools, as I mentioned. If you wanna get into the JET program, this is a great way for you to build your resume so you're more competitive when you apply to the JET program. Okay, housing on campus. Uh, we have the dorm that we talked about before and Japanese students are there as well. So you get to live with Japanese students. We also have the homestay option. So you could live with a Japanese family. And here's some pictures right over here of uh, what the homestay potentially would look like. I stayed in homestay when I was a student. I highly recommend it. Although lately, most of our students, about 80% do stay in the dorm, but it's something for you to consider. Here's pictures of the dorm. And again, you're living with Japanese students. There's various events that are coordinated uh, for you to participate. Uh, travel events or uh, celebration events. There's a gym, a karaoke uh, place as well where you can uh, sing Japanese songs. I'm sure many of you have done that already. Maybe that's why you want to come to Japan, okay? All right, so student life. Um, I look at the reviews every semester. And uh, of course, I'm very proud that our courses are highly rated by our students. But honestly, I think the biggest thing that our foreign exchange students take away is the enjoyment they have of being a part of Japanese community and being a part of the Japanese culture within the Kyoto, Kansai, Osaka area. So uh, there's various things that we organize, but this is a very, very important element to the cultural exchange program. And our students are very happy in staying at our program here at Kansai Gaidai. Okay, we do offer support services. Um, we allow you, or uh, we, we help you to get to Kansai Gaide smoothly. We have various orientations. We teach you about how to be a student at Kansai Gaide, how to function in Japanese culture. For the internship program, we teach you how to operate in a Japanese business community. We have a dedicated staff that's here to support you. Uh, we have health programs uh, available for you. We also have a counseling service, I'm sure many your home universities and not all home universities have this, but we offer this as well for our foreign students while they're here with us. So that's something that you can count on if indeed you need that. All right, so this is the kind of the nuts and bolts of how the program works. I won't go into detail about this. Most of the students that come here come through an exchange program. So the tuition will be paid to your home university, not to us, but some students come on an independent basis and these are the fees that are involved with that, the various things that you need to be able to uh, prove to be a student here in Japan. Some of these are our requirements and some of these are requirements of the Japanese government. All right, this is the application process. So right now, as I speak, we're in the application period uh, for the spring 2021 uh, semester. But if you're interested in coming later, you can see the application periods. And this is the flow. It's very simple on how to actually apply. You have to be nominated by your partner university. So I want to make that clear. It's from them that we begin the application process. So work with your international exchange program. If you want to come to Kansai Gaida, let them know and then uh, they'll talk with you about it and they'll nominate you and then the application process will start. Okay, so that's an overview. I went pretty quickly, especially by professor level. Um, I hope I address most of the things that you were thinking about. Uh, if you do have additional questions, we're very happy to take them. And um, please contact us at uh, Kansai Gaidai at the address over here. Uh, I really want you to con seriously consider coming to this school. 17,000 students over the years have had done exactly that. Some of them have built very, very interesting lives for themselves in Japan as a result of their experience at Kansai Gaidai. I am one of those 
students who eventually built a career, not just at the university, but also in business as well. And it traces back to my experience here at Kansai Gaidai. So again, thank you very much for your attention. Please let us know if you have any questions and hopefully I'll see you very soon here on campus. Thank you.